Now in the last 100 years, the human population has absolutely exploded. And this is what we call exponential growth. This has had a huge impact on the environment. These effects now are being experienced across the world. There is a shortage of food in some countries, more land is being used for building and farming, there is more pollution uh, being produced, and the world's resources are running out. And this is just not sustainable. Now in this video, we're gonna look at how we can make the most of the biological resources available to us. So let's start off by looking at crops and farming of crops. Crops are clearly key to feeding an ever-increasing population. Therefore, we need to make sure that the growing process is as efficient as possible to get the highest yield possible out of the available land. We're getting less land and we need more food. So we need to make the whole process as efficient as possible. There are a couple of key areas we're gonna look at. We'll look at how you can create the ideal conditions for photosynthesis. We'll look at how you can use fertilizers and also about controlling pests. To start with, let's look at how you can maximize photosynthesis. Well, the best way to control the conditions to maximize photosynthesis is to grow crops in a polytunnel or a greenhouse, because then all the conditions can be controlled by the farmer. The farmer can control light, temperature, carbon dioxide, and supply of water, regardless of what time of year it is and what's going on in the outside environment. First of all, light. The transparent material allows more light in for photosynthesis, but also the farmer can put extra lighting in there for the winter months. You can increase the temperature by using heaters and that keeps it at optimum level for the enzymes that control photosynthesis. And also because of the greenhouse effect uh, of a greenhouse, that's where the name comes from, um, there is a higher temperature in there because you're trapping air in there and that air is getting heated up. When you burn fuels to increase temperature, they also release carbon dioxide as a waste product. So if you've got some little heaters in there that are keeping it nice and warm in your greenhouse, you're also gonna be increasing the carbon dioxide levels. And that's obviously a good thing for photosynthesis because they need carbon dioxide for photosynthesis. It also increases the water vapor levels in the air. This means less water is lost by the plant in transpiration. The exact quantity of water supplied to the plants can be perfectly controlled, and you can make sure humidity of the air is not too high, which would breed fungi and bacteria, so you can control the water really carefully. Greenhouses also protect plants from the wind and frost, so there's a huge advantage to using polytunnels and greenhouses if you're growing crops. 